Hello, this is a specimen of a kidney that has been longitudinally bisected and uh, we're looking at the cut surface. We can see the cortex, the medulla, and this is the renal pelvis. There is a localized area of discoloration here and it is wedge-shaped. It is pale, kind of pale yellowish in color and there is actually a darker rim around it. This is a rim of hyperemia and if I turn it around and we look at the capsular surface so we can see just a hint of hyperemia here as well. So this is a renal infarct and the reason why the infarct is this shape is because the blood supply comes in here. It's an end arterial blood supply. Hence, when there is occlusion of the supplying vessel, this entire area of supply will become infarcted and undergo coagulative necrosis. So coagulative necrosis usually is reflected grossly as a paler appearance. And sometimes there is a rim of hyperemia due to reperfusion injury or due to rupture of the small delicate vessels. Here is what the infarction may look like microscopically. Uh, we can see here that there is a vague wedge-shaped area that looks a little bit different from the rest of the kidney. Uh, just to orientate you, this is the renal capsule, this is the cortex, this is the medulla, and over here is the renal pelvis. When we look at high magnification, we can see um, there is a direct comparison on the left with a normal, live, viable renal cortex with some glomeruli. We can actually clearly make out the nuclei. And then here on the right is uh, a portion taken from the infarcted area. And we can see that the glomeruli have lost the nuclei and also the tubules around it. The tubular epithelium appears much more eosinophilic with loss of nuclei. This is classical for coagulative necrosis. Renal infarctions are usually caused by thromboembolic phenomena that uh, affect the end arteries. So for example, if there is an upstream atheromatous plaque, this could shoot off uh, thromboemboli, which can then occlude the end arteries. So in summary, this is an example of a renal infarction. And what we see is a wedge-shaped area of pale tan to yellowish discoloration with the broad end of the witch abutting the renal capsule and there is a hyperemic rim.